human activity is driving Earth's temperature up, changing the way we live and work. Consequences could be catastrophic. You can't really debate the fact that 19 out of the last 20 years have been the 19 warmest years in the history of our planet. And the reason it matters to the 2020 campaign is you have the Republican Party still sort of defined by denying the existence of climate change. We must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. And yet you have Democrats say we need the Green New Deal and we need to do these radical things really quick and that if we don't, uh, the earth will burn. It's become very emotional and so both sides use it as leverage. When the other tricky part of this is, it's one of the few topics that we actually can't solve as a country, right? Because the climate is the world. Well, and if China's still polluting. It wouldn't matter if it's still, if there's pollution in Africa, pollution in India, pollution in China, we're gonna be a drop in the bucket. So it actually does require global cooperation at a very time that the United States is pulling back, at a very time that global cooperation is uh, seen by a big swath of the American people as something to resist. I think it's really important that people, one, sort of study up what are the real facts, what do the scientists actually think, but then also like what are the trade-offs and how much can America do on its own?